Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live Noting. In this episode, I will take a look at the new nodes in uh, Blender under Geometry Nodes. So it's basically called um, Master Curve. Okay, Master Curve is really quite interesting. So if we search Master Curve, we have this new node. And the node will simply turn any geometry into curve. Uh, maybe it's actually like a separate curve. I have a feeling. Um, so if we have like a, a torus or anything using the same geometry nodes, hit uh, apply all and then use the same geometry nodes, it becomes just a curve. The same uh, thing actually if we use like a cube and then go to edit mode, right click, merge vertices at center. And if we draw just like polygon edge like this, like a tree, this thing will become just polygon edge, of course. So just think of it that way. However, because this is, I think, like a curve, maybe we can use curve uh, resemble. Okay, resemble curve, and this should get pretty interesting as you can see something is changing with that guy I think we are getting <clears throat> more points not very obvious but if we try using something like uh, an icosphere maybe I just gonna hide this I will just rename it very quickly instance icosphere hide it by tapping edge and I, if I use like instance icosphere we get that and that's a uh, really handy let let's see what's going on so for every polygon edge because I specify here resemble curve the curve is resemble into points and we can specify how many points per edge uh, let's save this very quickly so this is a uh, GM mesh to curve so it's breaking polygon into edge, but it's the edge is actually a curve. Okay, so based on that idea, we can perhaps use resemble curve using the length. So depending on the length, it's gonna smartly increase or reduce its number. So now we have something like this, and if we this is a this is a torus, right? Originally it's a torus, and maybe we can use build modifier so it's gonna grow over time <clears throat> um yeah and i was thinking this guy also can grow over time although you can see it's uh, maybe we need to do like subdivisions or something beforehand All, all, all sort of things can work but let's see before we go that way um, we also have remesh over here a remesh modifier will simply remesh it into some kind of volume which is could be interesting it's almost like a skin modifier if you if we didn't use geometry nodes this is just polygon edge. We know that we have skin modifier, which is also pretty cool because we can simply use armature to go with it. Create armature and we can pose it. So that's pretty cool. We might be able to do something with geometry nodes and this skin modifier. Now back to skin modifier. <clears throat> Since this is like mesh the curve and we can resample the curve based on the length be careful with this number because just uh, now I make the number too small and it's just it froze blender so be careful there instead of using remesh we can also use instead of using point instance we can use point to volume 
and volume to mass. They're very similar. It's similar like if you're using like a remesh modifier. So this is also kind of nice to be able to do this. This length is so sensitive, you need to be careful with the number. Because at this point, <clears throat> because we resemble it anyway, we can randomize the radius. Oh yeah, it's funny the radius doesn't work. Maybe this should be better or no? Scale. Scale doesn't work either. This one. Too good. So this this actually works somehow. So now we have a way to kind of turning polygon edge into randomized radius. So I think this is kind of neat. It's really neat. You can randomize the seed. So instead of instead of scattering points on the surface, we are really dealing with a polygon edge, and I quite like this. Maybe this is something that can work uh, with Chris Pencil at some point, I don't know. This could be add. So I'm just playing with the number, see where this can take us. Actually, this should be like the place. Yeah, something like that. And just the length, make it 0 0.1, something. This guy might need subdivision. Okay, now that we have this set up, uh, we can do something that's more interesting. Oh, by the way, Master Curve, Master Curve actually have these selections, which is really quite neat. Um, so we have this uh, skin modifier, we have armature. What if we also put geometry nodes underneath and use the same geometry nodes? And this time we can use selections. You see bone one, bone zero. There should be a way to just you know just select this. You see what's going on? The bone weighting, which is automatic, is now being used. Um, yeah, there there must be a way to co combine all the selections, but for now. You can basically select this bone weight. So that's also quite neat. On top of that, if you want to go further, you can try it yourself. Sphere of nodes. Okay, sphere of nodes, and something that's really easy and useful is if you use like random random noise or actually line. Plug this into vector noise, and as the output, mass viewer, this noise and edge. We're gonna get something here. Alpha. I'm gonna put this to the side. Increase the number, and it's gonna. We're gonna. We can turn this into curve. Actually, sphere chop can turn this into a curve as well. It's not. A big deal, but for now we are actually have a means to do that using geometry nodes, so it's gonna be a lot faster. 
let's scale this beforehand so now I'll use the same geometry nodes there you go it's not what you think it is it's not it's not like a poop but but we might as well create a like a poop but why not spiral So this is basically like a poo generator. Interior, exterior. The cool thing is that we you don't you don't need to worry about the the resembling. It's it does this automatically. So whatever the length of the line it's gonna do it for us there we go this is what happened if you just improvise without thinking okay that's geometry nodes enough geometry nodes for today we just made a pool procedural pool so that's been the 3.0 alpha the latest version it's not official yet but you can see what's going on i think in the future we can use uh, this with grease pencil and you know like still uh, respecting the the radius etc and turning it into this kind of volumetric it's really powerful actually it's joke aside with a with a pool this you can do a lot of things with this all right so that's pretty much it for today thanks again for tuning in hopefully hopefully this is useful and i'll see you next time thank you bye